Hey Dave, um, this is the last video covering the forms. If you, when you first get onto the site, you'll be in the dashboard. You go over here where it says forms, you can go ahead and click on that. Right now you have the one form. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be submitted to your email account. Um, but what I like about it is for some reason you don't get that email or something happens and you got a glitch for the day or something um, this will automatically keep what it also submitted in the back end so in order to recover those you can go here to your forms and then you go here under entries right here so I click on entries and these are the ones that you tested through so if I want to view this, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to give your name, your email, your phone number, and then what you what they want to what they want answered uh, for the day. Um, you can also print these if you want to to keep them um, for later on, uh, or you can actually go over here to export. And you can click on this, and let's say you got 20 to 50 something odd. If you go um, to export right here, then click select a form. You'll go to your submitted question, because that's the form. And then right here, you'll just click that um, you want their first name, their last name, their email, their phone, and then that question. Um, the rest of this stuff basically is for database and stuff like that, but um, you just want their first name, their last name, their email, phone, and the question. So I check those. And you can put a range in here if you want a certain date, or you can just click download the file. So what it's going to do is it's going to download as a CSV file, which is like an Excel file or whatnot you can upload that into one spreadsheet and then um, after you get that spreadsheet um, you can either print that whole thing out or keep it as a file um, I mean later on even if you wanted to for your business um, we can make another quick form it doesn't take much to make a form um, and what, what a lot of clients do is they'll use something like MailChimp or Constant Contact to uh, shoot out um, little emails to their client, their customers or clients or whatever and um, this way would be a great way we can make a form we could uh, have them submit certain things like just their name their first name their email address their phone number um, stuff like that and then once we collect that for a newsletter or whatever if you went into those monthly and sent out a monthly thing saying hey this is the new new inflatable of the month or something like that um, then you'd be able to pull all of those all the information from those people you collected and start shooting them emails um, it's a good way to get get stuff out there of your new products and stuff like that um, but that's definitely something to think about uh, later on. Um, but that's just the easy way to do it. Um, you can export this list into CSV. And then if you went to um, MailChimp or something where you can make those personalized, nice-looking emails with uh, design and stuff like that, then all you got to do is upload this file. It will automatically populate your list, and then you send it out to 2,000 or however many people you got it in that list so it's a great way to do it um, but in this form it's very easy to check who's submitted um, and you can just delete them from here if you don't want them anymore uh, but it but it's very easy to check and it's nice that it not only gets sent to you in an email but it stays in this back end if you got any more questions, let me know. Thanks.